is our wren, and she is an African fish eagle. So this is actually one of the very few animals you're gonna meet today, which is a rescue animal. And a big eagle like this, they can live a long time, 40, 50 years, uh, but it takes a ton of time to train them. And while she is out here, oh, look at her wing. Um, she ends up, she wears a, a leash. She has a great big free flight aviary where she can fly around. She doesn't have to be attached. Uh, but we're in the middle of a big tiger preserve, right? 70 tigers here, there's lions, leopards, lands in the wrong tree, it's going to be a bad day. Everybody poops. I'm videoing. Maria, come again next year. You got to come here right now. How heavy? How heavy? Are you going to tell me? Can you tell me, Maria? Yep. Okay, correct. Thank you. Look at those. Hey guys, so this is my little girl Bubbles. Bubbles is a nine foot tall, 9,000 pound African elephant girl. This baby was so tiny when I met her back 37 years ago that I could pick her up. That really is pictures of Bubbles and I as children together there. Somehow over those years, both of us grew so much bigger. I don't know how exactly that part happened. That tiny little elephant got in an air at a 747 in Johannesburg, South Africa, and flew with me all the way back to Atlanta, Georgia. There in Atlanta, I could pull my truck right down on the runway, something you don't get to do anymore. And Bubbles climbed out of that plane into my truck, rolled the window down, she put her nose out that window, and she drove home with us. Now Bubbles here was just that tiny baby looking for something to do, and she wanted you to stay side by side with her, just to always be in contact. The contact allowed her to be able to relax. That tiny baby elephant, you can just guzzle it down there. Yeah, she's just getting a treat for standing there. That's a good girl, look at you stand there. Come here, big dog, you didn't eat the tree or anything. Bubbles has been having a war with this tree behind me, chowing it every time. So Connor's trying to give her some treats. I have four kids. Those four kids, you get a giant wrinkly nanny, right? It just happens. You had to keep a hand on her all the time. If you weren't leaning into her, then she wasn't going to eat. If you weren't holding on to that trunk, she would not go to sleep at night. So you had to go to sleep holding on to this thing. Okay, I'll go to sleep. If you dropped it too soon, whack, whack. That trunk right there is the co most complicated thing in the whole animal kingdom. There's 50,000 tiny pieces make up a trunk. It is 
Her upper lip and her nose combine. It connects right to her brain right here in her head and is an extension of her entire thought process so that she can touch and feel and move everything around. Every breath she takes is going in and out of that schnoz. Oh, what a lovely song. Yeah, that's a good, good girl. That's a good, good girl, Bubbles. Bubbles is so smart, everything is clowning around. She just takes advantage of or messes around in every situation, always playing with stuff. Now that nose is the super sensitive hand that she could reach out and pluck one blade of grass with, or she can grab an automobile and turn it over with that nose. Bubbles drinks 100 gallons of water in a single hot day. I used to keep a trough right here, let her walk up here and drink out of a trough, but the wrong day, she'd walk up and take a bath and just drench the people. It's a fire hose when it gets going. So to prevent people from getting drenched, oh, we went on a hunt it's to figure out what will Bubbles drink every time instead of what will she bathe in every time? We tried lemon juice for a while, it worked, but then lemon fresh baths were everywhere. We added all kinds of flavors of Kool-Aid. We tried hibiscus tea. We tried every kind of thing to see what she would drink. What we know she'll do on target every time is old school, freshly made Hawaiian punch because the bottom is full of all that punch. He just added the last little bits. So Bubbles wants to race to the bottom of the cup to make sure she's going to get it. And she'll show you. Show us how you take a little sip. Watch her just get a little bit of that. And it goes up, up, up the nose, then down the throat. Right? She's shooting it down the throat. It doesn't go all the way up. You think it might. Uh, she wants to get every bit of it. She's a little bit of a slurper, you know? This is why she got thrown out of restaurants, because she can't use the straw properly. <laughs> the That'll make the major D come out. Another blast. Down it goes. Now, what's left over is what she's been working on. She wants that last little bit of sugar, and she'll do this super inhalation to get the last of that stuff off the bottom of her schnoz there. Bubbles eats this enormous amount. Elephants only digest one third to one half of what goes in. Everything else passes through without being digested. So the amount they eat is more than twice of what they would need. So it's an all day affair. Now, they only have teeth in the far back portion of their mouth. They don't have any teeth in the front. They have a big soft palate. The atomic fireball. Bubbles thinks oh, the atomic like fireballs that. are tasty stuff. She thinks the spicier, the better. Oh, I dropped it. You wait right there. Show us what it looks like in that giant mouth. Ah, open up, open up. Where's that big tongue? So just those big teeth way in the back. Each tooth is about as big as my fist. And they're back there in the back. Nothing in the front. All just a big soft palate. She loves the, the heat coming off of that. And she's ready just to chew it up. Now, a lot of times she will give that real concentration. We'll see how she does with it. Sometimes she'll just focus entirely on the flavor and just leave the building. There she goes. She'll plug her nose up, her eyes go half mask, and Bubbles has left. Just indulging on that fire for a minute. Oh. Bubbles eats all day. The biggest thing she eats is hay, but she loves treats, and the thing we give her treats with mostly is fruit. If she's got a favorite, it's to eat a watermelon. She thinks watermelon are fabulous. Now we really like it when there's those big watermelons of summer, like a 50 pound melon because if you get her a big melon, when she goes to try and get into it, it just explodes Gallagher style sometimes and you just get a watermelon mess. Go ahead, right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that up there. Oh, wow. Pick that melon up, hold it right there. She's got it right there on her lips. Yeah, she cracked it open. She's gonna tear it in half. Watch, Iggy. Iggy, come here. She's working on it. She's got some suction going. Tough melon there. There it is. Half a melon upside down on the tongue now. And look at that face now. That is the face of a smiling elephant right there. <laughs> Half a watermelon in the mouth. A week goes by, Bubbles is eating 7,000 pounds. That means at the end of every week, you get at least 4,000 pounds of miracle Grow that is popping out the other side. Bubbles is a crazy fertilizing machine. And it makes her a gardener's dream. Right now she's checking out the rocks and Bubbles is moving to the spot. She knows where the next thing happens, and that's because we're gonna give you guys some carrots, and you guys are gonna give Bubbles some carrots. 
You can all go together. Yeah, we'll just we'll keep the herd together right there. I'll all just come up, get all teeter, and then we'll just we'll just go play around for that little bit. Come on over here. Guys, each get an extra one. Iggy, take an extra one, and Mummy's just gonna film, okay? All right, guys, you're just gonna come on up to me, guys. All together, guys. Come on up. Come stand on the feet and fold out those carrots. Come on up. Good, good, good. Hold out that carrot, buddy. Just hold it out. She's dying to have it. Hold it out there, dude. Everybody, hold out a carrot. Iggy, yeah. Hold your come carrot closer, out. and we'll get a better Iggy. picture. Come up closer, yeah. tight. Iggy, hold your carrot out. No, hold your. No, no. You gotta hold it to her. Don't throw it. Hold it. So she, she takes it. Go on. Uh, let it. Let her. Let her take it. Iggy. Let her take it. Go on. I don't have any. <laughs> oh, she'll take that nose and pick you right up. That's what she's going to do if we get in the water. She loves to play that game. Feel that incredible big face. It feels like nothing else. It's all nice. She wants to touch the Iggy, top of your head. That's what she loves to do. Iggy, come here. You're a good, good girl. Iggy, You're a good, good girl. Bu, 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 bu. Come, come right up next to that nose and give it a hug right there. Come close, close, close. Face this way, buddy. Look over here. Hug it, hug it, hug it. Look right there at that camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do, do one of those for me. Good. Oh, no. You're good, you're good. Good girl. Come on up there, brother. Give that big elephant lady a big old hug. Give her some love there. Yeah, yeah, yeah.